Welcome to my home. I was beginning to think you had forgotten me. You brought the money? Why do not speak? You promised money for my silence. One does not lightly make a promise. A gun? You do not need a gun to make sure of my discretion. I have given my word. Once you pay the money, nothing would make me talk. Please. We will forget the money. It was a little joke between us. If you do not want me to talk, you can be sure of my silence. Please. Please. No. No. Paloma, New Mexico Territory is a long way from Denver. There are only two things that could have brought me here. A woman or money. Well, this trip combines them both, so what can I lose? The retainer's in my pocket, but I still have to meet my client. She has the highly improbable name of Donna Juanita Capistrano. If the Donna's as romantic as her name, the money will look even sweeter. received, I promise to pay Antonio Lopez $5,000, L.B. Newton. This is worth anything, old Antonio didn't die broke. Suddenly I felt a draft on my back, like someone watching me. Senor, you have business here? Well, if your name is Donna Juanita Capistrano, I do. My name is Slade. I see you had no difficulty finding the home of my servant, uh, Senor Look, Slade. Uh, if you'll just put that iron down, madam. Is this your husband? <laughs> Senor Juanita has no husband. This is Mario Gallegos. He has comforted me in my darkest hour. Well, now I'll bet he has. Well, that's nice work if you can get it, Mario. Did you kill him? It was to my advantage that he stay alive, amigo. His name is Lopez. He was a friend to us both. He's been dead for about eight hours. Now, where were you about eight hours ago? With Doña Juanita. Uh-huh. And where was Doña Juanita? With Mario, of course. Of course. Now, see, you both have a nice alibi. Mario, you better notify the marshal. Muy bien. Adios, señor Slade. Well, you like what you see? See. Sí. You know, I certainly didn't expect to run into anything like you here in La Paloma. That makes us both happy. Well, 
really. You know, uh, as the bankers say, business before pleasure. Just what's going on around here? One does not make either love or business in the presence of death, senor. There's not much time, and there's much to be settled between us. Come. Now just what is it you want from me, anyway? My letter did not explain enough. Ooh, just that you were connected with some syndicate selling shares in an old land grant. See, si. The original grant was given to my family by the Mexican government in 1834. The papers were lost. When you Americanos took over, the rancho passed into the hands of strangers. Uh-huh. And you're suing to recover title, huh? Two million acres. <whistles> Lawyers cost money, and I have none. So a syndicate has been formed. Those who buy shares to help pay the legal expenses will one day be of great wealth. Well, that's a real long shot. Possession's nine points of the law, you know. I will have what is mine. And those who join me will share my good fortune. I've heard about these schemes before. The only one that ever gets rich is the promoter, and he's usually a crook. Do not say that, senor. There is no crookedness done in my name. Well, maybe none that you know about. Who's behind you, anyway? Someone very likely heard about this old land grant. Looked you up and started the ball rolling. Check the body. Morning, Donna Juanita. Buenos dias. I just got word Angela Lopez has been murdered. What do you know about it, stranger? Not a thing, Marshal. Well, you're a stranger here. A man's found dead. There's bound to be some connection. No connection. My name's Slade. I'm a detective. What are you doing in La Paloma? I'm, uh, just riding through. What's your business here? Like I told you, Marshal, I'm just riding through. Mind your manners, amigo. When I ask a question, I want a civil answer. Please, Marshal. Stay out of this. The man's dead. There's been too many killings around here lately. All right, Ben, search him. Oh, well, he's working for the syndicate, huh? No, senor, no. Maybe you can give me some answers. What about this paper? What about it? Who's L.B. Newton? Never heard of him. There's folks around here would pay plenty to find out who Newton is. Who's L.B. Newton? Who hired you? You know, I heard about you, Slade. You don't saddle up unless there's plenty of dinero on the line. You'd better not try to leave town. All right, boys. All right. Now I kept quiet, now you talk. Who is L.B. Newton? The head of the syndicate. Where is he? I do not know. Now stop playing games. If you're in this with him, you gotta know. Always I ask myself the same question, which is why I sent for you. I have never seen him, Senor Slade. What are you trying to give me? I speak the truth. If you've never seen him, how do you deliver the money that you collect? How did he get in touch with you in the first place? By mail, as I got in touch with you. Well, what's the big mystery for? Why is he so afraid to show his face? That you must find out for me. All right. That land grant deal feels like a vicious swindle. The victims wishing for the rainbow and ending up with nothing. You can't help but feel sorry for them. Poor folks with no present and the future behind them. They're probably kicking in a couple of dollars a week to the syndicate and dreaming of collecting thousands when L.B. Newton wins his lawsuit.
something else that's rotten in La Paloma. Donna Juanita and Mario were all lovey-dovey last time they were together. Now she's giving him the old cold shoulder. Why? <laughs> Still don't want to answer any questions? Maybe you'd like to try to answer a couple. Depends on what they are. Well, that's syndicate for one thing. L.B. Newton and Donna Juanita, how big is this swindle? Hmm. That runs into big numbers. Half the folks in this territory outside of the big landowners are kicking in regular. There's a federal warrant out for Newton, but he's gone. Think he skipped? Wouldn't you? Well, it depends. If the suckers had been milked dry, I would. But if there's still easy money around, I'd keep my hand in. Which is what LB's done. Funny part is, no one's been able to identify him. When the U.S. Marshal tried to serve a warrant, there wasn't a single soul around here to admit to ever having seen Newton. Well, maybe he just asked the wrong people. I think I'll start with the undertaker. He usually knows as much about the living as the dead. Time. I'll take care of this gentleman. Yes, sir. Now, what was it, sir? As I said, I'm looking for a man named Newton, L.B. Newton. Well, lots of folks are. Let's put it this way, mister. For every dime these people around here kick into the syndicate, there's so much more money that they can't spend with you. I never figured it that way. Now, I don't know this Newton, but uh, there's a $5,000 reward on his head. Now, if I knew him, I'd have long since collected, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sorry I wasted your time. No waste. You gave me an idea. Oh? This Newton deal, it, uh, it won't pan out for you. But as long as you're here, maybe I can throw you a little business. Like what? Like Donna Juanita Capistrano. Who? She's real Spanish nobility. I'm just a storekeeper, but uh, we were friends. Good friends. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. She's a high-class woman. We were talking real serious. We were talking matrimony. So, marry her. Oh, the deal's off. And I'd like to know why. I'm sorry, mister, but that's not in my line. For 500? I, uh, just changed my line. Don Ana Juanita's off me because she's changed her mind. I'll be a dead game sport and forget about her. But I have a hunch it's someone else. I like who? That's where you come in. If it's another man, I'll know what to do. Really? No one takes anything away from Ed Rath. No one. Take it easy, mister. A whole day is gone and nothing to show for it. I've got one answer, though. Mario Gallegos. But if I turn him in, Raff will bury me in a $20 special. What riles me is the mysterious Mr. L.B. Newton. Maybe Donna Juanita's a champion liar. There is no L.B. Newton. Maybe he's someone she just dreamed up. Say, that makes sense. She's sharp, sly, and only one thing on her pretty mind. Money. It's open. Come in. Well? I came here to apologize, senor. Sit down, Mario. I think it is better the marshal not know we are already acquainted. Oh? What about Mr. Raff? Well, things that are simple can be most complicated through ignorance. Skip the philosophy, amigo. If Donna keeps burning the candle at both ends, you're gonna wake up dead. Senor Raff? That's right. He won't even charge you a nickel for the funeral. You do not understand, senor. 
Doña Juanita is not to me what you think. She is my cousin. She is the only family I have. Oh, you're mighty chummy for cousins, I'd say. I am here only to help her. So why'd she suddenly give old Raft a brush off? Because she suspects him of being on the side of the landowners. There is an old Spanish saying, he who is a friend of my enemy is also my enemy. Yeah, the Apaches would agree with you. Where can I find Donna Juanita now? She is resting before the meeting. What meeting? Of the shareholders. Money is running low because it is fear. Others have been murdered besides Tonio. And some of our friends are chicken-hearted, but not Doña Juanita, I assure you. No, not as long as there's a dollar in it. You misunderstand everything, senor. Where can I find her? She's at the big house near the east end of town. The meeting is for 9 o'clock. I'll be there. Adios, amigo. <laughs> I thought I'd stop by a little before the meeting. Thought we uh, might have a little talk. That would be very nice, senor. What would we uh, talk about? Well, I thought for one thing we might talk about the land grant. Senor, this land we call New Mexico. It is American, yes? Yes. It is ruled by your laws, your American laws, enforced by the American court and the American soldiers. My people, the Mexican people of New Mexico, we are American citizens, but we are foreigners. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, I understand, senorita. But you must understand that I don't make the rules. As a matter of fact, I find it kind of hard remembering them when I look at you. You find me attractive? I understand now why Raph lost his head. Do not speak of him. I no longer care what he thinks. You had something to say to me? As a matter of fact, I did. It was something about uh, land grants or something, but... Well, right now, I've completely forgotten. We will listen, Doña Juanita, but we have listened many times before. We have heard you ask us for money, always more money, and we have given the money. But we are poor people. Gee. A peso sometimes is the difference to us of whether we eat or go hungry. Gee. I am your friend. I want to help you. I am one of you. I can almost promise you that the shares you buy tonight will pay for the last of the legal papers. The lawyers must be paid for their work. The courts demand their fees. It is not easy, and it is not cheap. But we cannot give up the fight now that we have almost won it. <laughs> Buy tonight the shares that will make you wealthy tomorrow when my lands are restored. I promise you will all be richer than you ever dreamed. All of this sounds very good, but we have heard it before, and it puts no beans in the pot. <laughs> Juanita, we demand proof that this money goes only to pay the lodgers and the court. You ask for proof, Pedro? You doubt the word of Doña Juanita Capistrano? No, no, no. No you, Doña Juanita, but there are others, the syndicate. It is said that Tonio Lopez was shot through the head because of what he learned. Let him go, amigo. He has the right to ask questions. Your friends are playing kind of rough. He's a troublemaker, this Pedro. Always with a loud talk. Everybody has a right to speak his mind, especially since he's paid his money. This is not your business, senor. You are an outsider. Take your hand off my arm. We do not want trouble. If you'll be quiet, I think we can handle the whole thing ourselves. I'll be quiet as long as I don't get pushed. Pardon, senor. We will not push. Amigos, who will buy the first five shares? Who will buy the next five shares? Oh, you're getting, oh, getting anywhere, Slade? I'm like a cat at a rat hole, Raph. I've got patience. $545, amigos. Not a bad hole, Donna. Who gets it? I have told you, L.B. Newton. Fine, let's give it to him. 
You are trying to trap me, no? I mailed the money to him, general delivery in Mendoza. He sends back a receipt. It is all very businesslike. Yeah. If you will excuse me, Doña Juanita. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Mario. Supposing I mail it to him. What are you trying to tell me? Well, you still want to find out who L.B. Newton is, don't you? That is why I sent for you. Then let me mail it. All right. Remember this, Donna. No man stays hidden long if you know how to look for him. I promise you by tomorrow you'll know who L.B. Newton is. Mario! Senor Slade, here! Stay where you are. Shut right between the eyes. Just like Antonio Lopez. Like all the others, the killer moves fast to silence those who oppose him. See that? You promised to pay Newton $5,000. It's hard to collect from a dead man. Cheese is the best bait for hungry rats. But if you want to catch a greedy man, you use money. And I've got it. The money for L.B. Newton. I'm on my way to Mendoza to drop it off at the post office. Someone will pick it up. It was almost noon and no one had come for the package. Then I saw him. I thought he looked familiar and then I recognized him. It didn't make sense. The clerk at the general store. All right, hold it, mister. Let's have that package. All right, mister, it's your last chance. Who's Newton? Come on, talk. Who is he? Surprised? Come in. Thank you. Why are you here? No, I might ask you that, Donna. Well, I... You did not mail the package. Yes, I mailed it. I got some answers, too. I know all about your L.B. Newton. I rode over to Mendoza, and there was Clint, just picking it up. But he never quite made it. Hold it right there, Slade. Drop your gun. Now hand over that package. It is you. You are L.B. Newton. Who did you think it was? Takes money to keep you in pretty clothes, Donna. You're like a leech. You can spend it faster than I can steal it. Well, you hired me, Donna, and I delivered him. What do you say now? You see, she wasn't satisfied with just the money you gave her. She wanted to take over. She and her cousin. Cousin? That's right, Mario. Cousin him? <laughs> Throw down your gun, senor. Right between the eyes. Well, what does it buy you, Donna Juanita? <laughs> well, that wrapped it up. The marshal said there was nothing he could do about Donna Juanita. She'd broken no law. She merely tried to double-cross her crook. You can bet I won't lose any sleep over her. She'll make out. Uh -huh. 